Hello guys, this is a quick um, tutorial on how to try and read your Landerson gear E355 meter. Um, I had one installed a few months ago. Um, I am a qualified electrician and it's taken me a long time to figure out what is going on. Um, uh, there's definitely not much information on the internet or from your retailer or anybody so um, here's a video I hope it helps but um, yeah you, you might need to sit down and figure it out anyway we're watching the um, meter go Moment. Sorry, we're a bit rough here. Um, so we have all sorts of readings here 22, 21. Um, anyway, down to it. So 01 is the time which will be displayed in Eastern States time. Um, so don't worry if you're in South Australia, yes, the time's wrong, but that's how it's done. And number two was the date. Uh, number three is the total kilowatts coming from the grid into your house. So that includes if you've got off-peak water heater, um, anything that's come from the grid that you're going to pay for, that is the actual total of everything. Um, A4 is easy, that's, um, well, if you've got solar, which you probably have with a meter like this. Um, and that's the total solar power you have exported to the grid, which is what you should get paid for, that one. Um, number 15 is the kilowatt hours that are on peak power. So number 15 is the peak power, um, which you usually see on your um, bill um, that you pay for. But that's without the off-peak power included. Um, number 18 on my meter, no one seems to know what this one is. Um, I might do another video if I ever figure out what that one is. Um, so number 21 is the actual off-peak power. So I've got a solar hot water on the roof that heats up during the day, but at night um, the meter times uh, sets a time and lets it heat up at night, which is in the off-peak time, and you play a lower rate for this. So that's your off-peak or controlled load power. Um and what is number 22 um, from what i've seen with information is uh, kilowatt hours exported to the grid um, in the off-peak bracket time which means the solar power you have exported in the middle of the night so um i think mine says 3.8 and that figure stayed the same so i'm guessing that isn't going to happen and so anyway I've written it down all on a sheet so you can pause it and have a long look at it and try and figure out what's going on. I know it's a bit ridiculous, but this is the way it is. So I thought I'd just make this to help everyone out. Sorry, we're a bit rough here. There we go. Okay, so that's our, I've written it all down from what I can see on here. Um, yeah, with a little bit of explanation there. Um, so yeah, you could probably take your phone or something, pause this, take your phone and have a look at it. Um, and then have a look at your bill. So um, anyway, that's the numbers. I've noticed other meters have a couple of different um, other numbers and readings, uh, which I've got no idea about, but, you know, 
all we can do is thank the retailers for this marvellous meter. It makes it so easy for us to figure out um, what this is, really, <laughs> and how to read your meter. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, good luck, guys. Um, hope this helps someone. <laughs> Signing off.